Okay, so I think first I want to tell you something that um, when you go to work in, I don't know, five years, the university and all that, this will be one of the most important skills you will need to learn. And here is why. If you think it's very cool that you memorize all the numbers from history class, or if you memorize all the equations in math class, the problem will be that it's really instantly available to anyone. You can just search on the internet and you have all the data. You know, remembering things is not really a value anymore for humans, because you can get it from the net, computers and be better. What is left that, you know, you collect all the information and come up with things, even if you're in banking, accounting, whatever. It's all about how to be smart. Do I start to lose you with English or not yet? I don't know, this discussion was in English. Ki az, aki kezdek elveszteni az angol miatt? Yes, good teacher, thank you. Okay. So first of all, I think one of the things I want to share with you is, is an idea that I, I always knew, but I haven't come with myself. There is this researcher called Ken Robinson, he's a British teaching research, education researcher. And he says that the first thing we should know that everybody has been creative. Now, out of this hundred people, only two said two percent. It's a very shocking idea. But here is the reason. If you actually talk to a child, um, this is like a real story that you know, three-year-old, very small child, say, can you please make a picture of God? It doesn't matter, God, you know, but this is a, it's a really hard question. All this complexity is there. And the child just makes a picture. Oh, this is how it looks like. Even if the teacher feels like, I don't know what it could be, it's very complex. If you're very small, and if you are told to try something, to do something, the first instinct is that you try it. And you don't mind. Maybe you succeed, maybe you fail, but you try it because it's fun to try it. Now the problem is that once you get to school, um, you start to get grades, like five and one in Hungary, and basically it's a really simple choice. And I would do the same, like, and I did the same in Hungary. So if somebody asks you a question, if you answer the right answer, then you get a good grade. If you fail, then you get a bad grade. This seems very logical. So no other answers. And the problem is that, you know, there is a 50% chance, maybe, that you fail. And it's not nice, and people will look at you and you sucks. And, and this is the real big issue here, that... When you, you know, maybe you finish here, and maybe you get into some kind of creative education. And I think all, all professionals should be creative. But basically what you learn there, that to get to something fantastic, you have to keep trying a lot and a lot and a lot and failing a lot, making a lot of mistakes, having a lot of bad ideas and trying them. Because only through this process do you come up with one good. And psychologically, you already feel like I don't want to try it because, you know, when I try, maybe I get a bad grade, it doesn't feel nice. So, in many schools that are very successful to the end of the world, they actually don't give grades anymore. There's no grades. And what they uh, value when you get a good Work from the teacher is when you try, right? It's the trying is the key thing to get here. <coughs> so, because right now, you know, I can say that be creative, make a beautiful drawing for me, and I think the same thing will happen that 90% of you will say, you made a little drawing, and you're like, oh, it's ugly, I'm not there. And the problem is that this is the same in, in arts or any, any profession that the people who can make nice lines, they actually try it for years and years and years, and they enjoy this process. Because if you, you know, because at school you are already taking a maybe there's a good answer, a bad answer, and you just tend to start to give up. So I think the only thing I can say here as a final note on this idea of creativity is that you should not stop trying, and you should enjoy trying, trying, and it, you know, you shouldn't care if you fail. As you have this company where I come from now, um, we have this culture that if you make a big mistake, like you, our servers go down, a lot of users around the world are crying, they are hating us, sending us angry emails, not paying us, then we don't blame these people. We ask them to stand up and say, this is the mistake I did, this is what I learned, and I shared it with you, so you don't get into the same mistake. So with every mistake you do, there is something you can learn, and I think this is very good.